Today I rise with a heavy heart because I listen to the words, two words that are really should be very meaningful, one Minnesota. But what does that look like as a puzzle for the state of Minnesota? Does one Minnesota include the puzzle piece of nursing homes? Because nursing homes are not the same as assisted livings. We have 300 nursing homes in the state of Minnesota that are a step down from the hospitals and the only setting that offers 24-hour nurses. So if you're like me, I've talked to hospitals in all of your districts. I've talked to hospital ER doctors in my district, both of them. They support 100% that we fund nursing homes because they are bottlenecked right now and people are in hallways. So we have funding for ombudsmen to increase supports and we're gonna get more reports going to nursing homes telling them that people are waiting too long or people are waiting too long for care. And we know it. A report is not gonna solve the problem. What's gonna solve the problem is funding nursing homes. There is not a business in the state that can run waiting to have the cost charge two years after you incur them. They're carrying the bank. They have lines of credit. If you couldn't make your mortgage, you probably would lose your house. Nursing homes are gonna be in the same boat. We give millions to nonprofits, millions to add bureaucracy in the government, and there is plenty of money in this, in this biennium for that. But we don't have money to fund nursing homes, the people that built this state, the people that built this country, and they aren't the people that can be at home. They're not the people that can be in assisted living. How do I know that? I've been a nursing home administrator for 30 years, and I started 40 years ago as a CNA. I've worked every shift, and I've worked in rural Minnesota, and I've worked down here in St. Louis Park, in Cambridge, and I've worked in every sized bed setting. The reality is when you have a workforce shortage, which we have, you need economies of scale when you have large clinical need. If you're lucky to live to 95, you may not have the luxury to be in your house, to be in your apartment, or to be in an assisted living. You may need an RN. You may need an RN 24 hours a day. And you may need economies of scale because you may need four people to lift you. You may need a track ceiling to lift you. You may be sliding scale insulin dependent. You may have Alzheimer's and need special care that's not possible in assisted living or your home. So while I commend the items in the bills that have funded home care and PCAs and assisted livings, we are going to be in a world of hurt when we lose nursing homes in the state of Minnesota and it's going to be transferred to hospital, the highest care level, the various high. If we think we're spending a lot of money now, we haven't seen anything yet because 15% of the people that are 85 and older will need a nursing home. It's not what any of us are signing up for. You don't sign up for breast cancer. You don't sign up for Parkinson's. You don't sign up for congestive heart failure, and you surely don't sign up for Alzheimer's, but if that's the crystal ball you get, are all of you prepared to do 365 day care, 24 hours a day? Because we're going back to the old days where you take care of your parents at home. And if you're ready for that, that's great, because that's the puzzle piece that's gonna be missing for the state of Minnesota. This is a state of emergency, Minnesota, and urge the governor, and I urge this body to reconsider where they're putting the money. We have the money. We are letting Minnesota seniors know that if you're lucky enough to be 90, you're not gonna get the care you may need. I urge you to realize the urgency for Minnesota and remember, Minnesota seniors need to be that piece in the puzzle for nursing homes, thank you.